Hey, what's up guys? Here's a quick guide to the best settings I'd use for Kakadaya. So go to your settings, it's in the top right gear icon. Now, crosshair type, definitely use static. Minutes left, three or four, I'd say, is good. Warm up, only yes. Anonymous, no, doesn't matter because none of you are verified. Arms, I'll put up the three arms now. Show is arms and weapon. Hide is nothing, and weapon is just a weapon. I like using weapon the most. I don't ADS, this, if you aim in, uh, if it shows the weapon or not, definitely enable this, makes it a lot easier to aim in. Crosshair on hide, definitely enable this, you're gonna wanna see your crosshair when you're aiming in to hit shots. FOV is a personal preference, some people like using a higher FOV, some people like using a lower. Um, higher FOV will generally allow you to see more around you, but it can also make the game look distorted if you put it too high, but it can feel boxed off if you put it too low, so I like to put a mid-range 9595, which is quite nice. Um, if you want to link your Twitch, helps with getting drops. Controls, sensitivity is completely personal preference. I use 5151, but do whatever you want with that. Raw input, I wouldn't enable that. You don't need mass acceleration, but if you, nah, leave that. Flick protection, if you are having mouse flicking issues, then enable it, but otherwise just leave it as default. Keybinds, I use all default controls, they're good controls, but if you want to use different keybinds and change it up, go ahead. Um, sounds, doesn't matter, do whatever you want. Graphics, resolution, use I'd say something like 0.6 to 0.7 for the best performance, while the game doesn't also look terrible. If you have a better PC, then just throw it on something like 0.9 or 1. But if you're on like a lower end laptop or like something really old, you can lower that all the way down to 0.3 um, if you really think that's best. Brightness, contrast, and air brightness. Um, you can experiment with these and see what values you think look best for you. I just leave them as default. And uh, shadows, I'd say leave it off because you want best performance. All the effects, turn them all off because we want the best performance and these will affect performance. Now your mods. Uh, player, player color texture. I use a player color highlight in every time I'm playing, as you, as you might have seen in my previous videos. So I, use, I like to use a yellow highlight. So it's this color, bright, bright yellow but you choose whatever color you want if you do want a color highlight. I like a color highlight because it makes it easier to see and easier to hit people. Texture, turn it off. HP, uh, yes. I mean, if you want to see the HP bar, then turn it on, but this is a personal preference. I like having it. Weapon, no, because it affects performance. Animations, no, it affects performance. I mean, if you do want the best performance, disable your HP bar as well. Actually, yeah, just disable it. We're trying to get the best performance here. Now, texture. Um, if you want the best performance, just disable your texture. The game's not going to look amazing, but it will give you highest FPS. But if you do want a nice texture, then I'd say I'm going to put a link in the description to the Kirkada IO Discord server. Um, once you're in the server, scroll down, go to the Map Textures channel and you can find a bunch of nice map textures. So for example, this one, if I just left click on it, then do right click, right click in the middle, copy image address, and then go back to your game and do control V, paste your texture. Your texture should appear um, here. Animated in RGB, keep these off because we want the best performance and they don't really make a difference. Skybox for the best performance just disable this but I'd say Skybox does look quite nice and isn't badly affect performance so just leave it on. Um, if you want a custom Skybox go to the Skyboxes channel in the Discord server and put the associated images with the associated fields here. Now for your crosshair um, just go to the same go to Discord server, go to crosshairs, choose a crosshair that you want. I like a simple small dot crosshair because it makes it easiest to aim at people. Uh, so for example, something like this. 
that is as a nice dot crosser and then a sniper scope if you want you could use the same as your crosshair for your sniper scope but i'm gonna get a separate scope in the sniper scopes channel here here's one that looks nice click on it left click then right click copy image address and then just paste it here you got your sniper scope now yeah that's the full settings customization that i'd recommend for crocodile if you need any tips need any advice with settings if you need any help just comment down below if you enjoyed please like and subscribe thank you for watching